Hey everybody, welcome back to yet another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I am Greg Sykes and if you're new here, thank you for joining us and please consider subscribing to this channel. I try to put out videos as much as I possibly can and sometimes that is every single day and sometimes it's not, but you know... It is what it is, and with that said, let's get into today's video, shall we? So, people were talking on uh, social, social media, social media, about Washington's uniforms that they were, you know, that they were wearing against the Kansas City Chiefs, and you know. A lot of people have a love-hate relationship with the new uniforms. Now, I don't hate them. You know, I, of course, I'm still wearing, I guess you call it a classic uniform, Sean Taylor. Much, much respect for Taylor. Um, but, you know, a lot of people are really waiting to see what these white jerseys are, you know, were going to look like. Now, you know, a lot of people liked the white on white in the first game against the Panthers, but we got to see what the jerseys were going to look like with the uh, burgundy pants, in, you know, in the game against Kansas City. And I have to say, um, a lot of people hate it on this uh, combination. I didn't hate it, but I think it's incomplete. Now, first of all, I really think that there is something missing with this uh, this uniform. I think, first of all, we do need a, uh, a, a yellow gold, whatever you want to call it, stripe down the pants. I, I really think you need that. And I think the, the burgundy socks here and just kind of makes it look like they're leotards <laughs> or tights. Um, I, I've never understood that. I, I think you need to put like, you know, the, the socks with the stripes on them um, or something like that. You just, you need different colored socks going up to the knees. Um, so I think you need that and you need the... Um, you need the gold stripe going down the sides, and for the jersey, honestly, I understand that the black is going to be the alternate color, but I just don't think it works with this. I think you need to really put some, you need, you need to incorporate the gold in the jersey, and I'm hoping that this is something that we kind of work out as we go along, um, you know, because otherwise, I think it's it's fine, um, and I think that the the black, you know, outline numbers is fine when you're wearing the the all white. But I think anything else, it just just doesn't look like Washington to me, of course. Um, but maybe I'm biased. I don't know. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot who think that this uniform is fire. Um, I, I don't think it's fire, but, you know, it's it's different. It's definitely different. Um, I want to see the, the all burgundy out there. I want to see what that looks like. Um, I think I'm probably going to like the burgundy tops better. Um, I think that's going to look a little bit more... Um, it's going to show a little bit more of a tradition in a way, I think. Um, but overall... Um, it's just, it's still weird getting used to it. Um, I actually don't mind the, the helmets uh, this year. Um, and there's not really a good look of the helmets here, but um, the helmets are, are fine. Uh, yes, I'm always going to be a traditionalist. Um, sorry, I am not able to get my words out like I want to today, but I'm always going to like the, the, um, the chief logo just always going to like this so iconic but um you know the w on the side it, it's not bad i think it actually works um i think if the um if the other logo the what, what am i trying to say the crest i think if the crest wasn't quite so busy it would actually 
look really good on the helmet. Maybe they do something kind of like what the Steelers do is maybe maybe they wind up having the crest on on the side. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious why they didn't try to do that with the black helmets. Maybe put the crest on one side and and the numbers on the other. I think that would have looked pretty cool. Um, I mean, because everything else with that uniform, you know, screams uh, Pittsburgh Steelers to me. But, you know, I digress. Um, overall, is this really, I mean, is this really the Washington, well, I mean, it's the Washington Commanders, but, you know, for, for a lot of us who are, you know, been long, long-time fans of this uh, team, is this uh, uniform that, you really can get behind. Uh, I think it's okay, but I'm not too happy with it. I just think there still needs to be some changes to make this look uh, more well established. You know, if you look at Kansas City's uniform, you could definitely see it just looks like it all fits together. And ours just looks like they're, they're still, I don't know, it kind of looks like a college football team in a way. That's all I'm going to say about that. Anyway, let me know in the comments section what you think. Um, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one. Take care. And if you want to know how to support this channel, again, please consider subscribing to the Washington Football Maniacs. And when you do, hit that notification bell. Uh, because uh, here lately, uh, YouTube is not notifying some of my subscribers of my videos want to put them out so just make sure that that notif notification bell has been dinged and there's other ways to support this channel and well just check that out